my name is Anthony Allen welcome to my YouTube channel Anthony Allen edits the YouTube channel that is all about your video editing hints tips and tricks as well as teaching you guys how to become a Final Cut Pro X genius with my tutorials and here in this video I'm going to be talking about a Pixar Film Studios purchase that I made it was an audio visualizer now recently I've had a lot of conversations with professionals that use Final Cut Pro X and a lot of you have a strong opinion on Pixel Film Studios. A lot of you have said there have been issues when you have purchased Pixel Film Studios plugins, some of you love Pixel Film Studios and then there are those like me who are impartial and I like to experiment with my video editing. I'd also like to say that I do not get paid by Pixel Film Studios at all they are not paying me for this content i am just providing this video so that somebody can make up their mind so that you know beginner video editors can make up their mind when they are deciding to purchase plugins and so they can have more context and we can talk about these plugins so that we can you know keep transparency on the internet so that we can review talk and discuss these sort of plugins Another thing that the community has said is you don't like when I don't show examples of me using the plugin. So in the case of this video, I'm going to show you a few creations really quickly that I've created using this plugin. <laughs> See them cars now your underhand is get part. Now that I've shown you just a few creations that I have made using this plugin, let's have a look at the plugin in action within Final Cut Pro. So here in my panel you can see that I have three of the audio visualizer effects that are available at Pixform Studios. You actually get a glossary of them, but these three are going to be the ones that we're focusing on. And the reason why is I'm going to show you uh, ones that don't work because I don't have the right um, spec on my machine here on my Apple machine. It doesn't have the right spec to actually uh, use all of the functions here. And that is part of the complaints that I have been hearing from uh, people within the Final Cut Pro X community. It's that if you don't have the full spec for what a plugin is needed to run, you may have things that don't work. So let's show you an example. So basically, what you're supposed to do is you grab your effect here, your audio visualizer. Uh, the song underneath is what you want it to mimic um, or showcase. Uh, you then stretch this so it's the same length as the song, or roughly. And then on the audio visualizer, you're supposed to have the controls here to select what song you can use and as you can see with the dotted line below this option is not given with this audio visualizer because I don't have the full spec on my Apple machine so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this one because I knew it didn't work that's the reason I wanted to showcase that and I want to select circle bar as I know that this one works to show you what I mean so right already you can see that the controls the master controls are available see the master controls are available I can choose the song which is going to be the same song that is underneath as that will be the one that is playing throughout the project I'm going to stretch this along the song I'm also going to zoom in for my pre precision editing to make sure that I'm actually directly on the edge of the song and as you can see I wasn't here we are now just going to pull that back slightly if I want to go even further I can don't need to so there we go So at this point, the audio visualizer will not be showcasing the song because I need to choose the song. The way we do that is we choose the path to the song. So right now I've just chosen the song that should play at the same time. And let's show you an example of this. So right now the audio visualizer is showcasing individual sound waves within the song and giving you an audio for you to look at while the song is playing. So that was just a quick showcase of how this application works. You can then play around with this slightly. Uh, as I said, there are ones that don't work with my Mac and there are ones that do. Uh, this, is, this is a paid plugin. 
what I like to do from here is I like to select a picture underneath this audio visualizer just to give an extra visual to the uh, audio visualizer and then I like to play around with the uh, audio visualizer itself to make it look more appealing to the audience. <laughs> So there we have it guys, that is the audio visualizer plugin that I have used with Pixar Film Studios. Hopefully this has given you a little bit more of the insider knowledge to help you decide whether you're going to make the purchase or not. What do you think of Pixar Film Studios? Have you made this purchase yourself? Are you going to make this purchase? Or do you have a difference of opinion of everybody that is going to purchase this plugin and you don't like Pixar Film Studios for whatever reason? If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe because we'll have more videos like this that shall help you in one way, shape or form with Final Cut Pro X or your video editing journey. My name's Anthony Allen, you've been watching Anthony Allen Edits and see you soon in the next video. I upload daily guys, so I have another video for you tomorrow. Thank you for watching.